Hey everyone, welcome back to another Autodesk Fusion tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna do a little bit more AI stuff. And I haven't decided how useful the things that I created are, but this is really more so just a, this is how you do it. If you, if you have an idea about a process that you wanna make simpler in Fusion, you can definitely have an AI tool help you write code to accomplish this. And when I was just kind of fooling around with it on my computer, I kind of I came up with two new add-ins. And for this, these add-ins, I used Claude AI, and you, you can use it for free, but you are limited to how long your conversation is. So if you go over the limit, you have to wait like 24 hours to keep going, and it doesn't remember your conversation. So you want to be as efficient as you can when you are trying to get help with Claude to code. And, and I, I found that Claude is probably the best AI for, for writing code. It's been, it's been more consistent than Grok and uh, ChatGPT. So um, let's get back into Fusion. So uh, I'll show you the two add-ins I made and, and that's the combine all bodies and select edges by type. So you, here you can see I have three bodies and they're all separate, even though these two are touching each other. So what I can do, and now before I actually show you this button, obviously I know you can just go up to combine, and if we want to combine these two, you select your target body, select your tool body, hit OK. Not that complicated to do. Um, but this tool is just one button and done. So you go to modify, combine all bodies, and now you can see we're left with two bodies. This script, or this add-in that I created, went through all the bodies, found all the ones that are touching each other, and then combined them. So now I'm left with these two bodies and I don't have to go through the steps of the combine tool. Um, it does leave a timeline. This is one I did previously, so I'm just gonna delete that one. It does leave the feature on the timeline, uh, but if you go back in time and change things, like if you added another cylinder to this and then, and then scrubbed forward, it would not auto update. So there are some limitations to what I did here, but um, I bet if I had more time with that Claude AI to refine this tool, I probably could have it update in the timeline, but I think that gets quite a bit more complicated. So that's one of the tools I made. The other add-in or tool I made was select edges by type. So if you click on this, uh, a little window pops up and it wants you to select the body. So we're just gonna select this one. And you can click, you can keep this as all and hit OK, and it'll just select all of the edges. And this is good if you're like at the end of the model and you want to add like a quick like 0.3 millimeter chamfer just to soften all those edges. Um, now, again, I don't know how useful this is because obviously you can just do this, right? You can just drag and click. There's also selection tools up here, but again, uh, maybe if it's a complicated model, uh, it, it would be useful. So. Let's go back and go select by edges, select the body. Now what I did is I made two options, three options, all, straight, or curved. So now I can just select the curved edges and it just selects the curved edges in the solid body. And if we went back, you could do select by select edges by type and just go straight, select my body, hit okay. And now it only selects the straight edges. Again, don't know how useful this is. I just thought it was kind of cool that you can just do this with AI without knowing how to code at all. And adding them to uh, Fusion is really easy. So basically what's gonna happen is when you're in Claude AI, very efficiently you're gonna say, hey, I wanna create an add-in that combines all bodies in my design and all touching bodies uh, that are in my Autodesk Fusion design. Can you write a script for me to do that? It'll write you a script, and Claude even said, you know, when when it was when I was conversing with it, it's so weird talking to talking about Claude like it's a person. I never know how to say it. <laughs> when I'm having a conversation with Claude, it even gave me like, like, do you want to do this instead? Like, do you want to make sure that components are included and all this stuff? And I said, yeah. And then it would update the code, and basically. Uh, it spit out some code for me, and I copied that into a just a text document. So this is the script that it wrote. And to create this, or to, to add it to Fusion, basically what you do is you go into Utilities, you go to Add-ins here, 
and you're going to click on this plus sign and hit create script or add in. You're going to select add in. You're going to give it a name and then keep this as Python and keep this the same because this should automatically put the folder where it should go in the add-ins folder and then hit create. Now I'm not going to do that because I've already created this. Once you create it, it's going to show up in this list. So select all by all edges. That's that's what I created. Now to get your to get your code in there, what you're going to do is right click and edit in code editor. And I'm on a Mac, but it should be pretty similar uh, in Windows. So edit in code editor, and it'll just pop up your uh, code or your script. And when you open this for the first time, there's just gonna be a very short um, code in here that's only like 10 lines long. You're gonna select all of it and delete it. And then you're just gonna paste in the code that your AI software, your Claude, uh, wrote up for you. Once you have that pasted in, you're just going to close out of it. It'll ask if you want to save it. So you hit yes. And then you just go back into your add-ins and you have to turn it on. So in this, this little uh, column right here, you can see this little toggle switch. You, yours will be turned off. You just click this button to turn it on. Um, you can click this too if you want it to run on startup. And then once it is on, it should show up wherever well, Claude will actually tell you where it will show up, but mine showed up under modify and down here at the bottom. Now, when I ran this the first few times, there were some errors. And what I would basically do is take a screenshot of that error and then paste it into, with this plus button, uh, upload a file. I would paste it into Claude and Claude would read the error and then fix the code. And I maybe had to do that maybe three or four times until the code was right and it just worked perfectly. And so now I have these cool new buttons. I, I think there's probably a few times I will really like this combine all bodies. I don't know how often I'll do select edge by type. I suppose like if you wanted to do all of the curved edges, maybe as uh, fillets. So we could just type in like one here. And then if you wanted to do all of the straight edges as uh, chamfers, you know, I guess that's kind of a cool function of it. Um, I don't know. You'll have to let me think. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. Again, I, I really don't know how useful these are. And I'm really just kind of showing these off basically to show you that you can, even if you don't know how to code, you can use these AI mod models to help you do things in fusion that you that you might not think of or that, that are just kind of mundane pro, uh, pro, or mundane things you do in fusion that you want to speed up. So I will leave um, a link to the Facebook page for my YouTube channel and I will add in the code. I will I will save the code to that YouTube page or I'm sorry to the Facebook page so you can download this code and add these two buttons to your fusion if you like. Uh, sorry, this, this video is a little messy. I didn't really prepare or practice for it. Uh, we are on vacation this week. My family is uh, out doing some sightseeing. I got absolutely sunburned yesterday, so I am taking a day off and <laughs> relaxing in the condo while everyone else is out. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Hopefully it'll uh, spark some creative thoughts in your brain to create your own specific buttons or add-ins. If you do come up with something, let us know in the comments what you do, what you created or what you added, and then maybe share it to the Facebook page so uh, we can all maybe get our hands on it. So anyways, thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.